have one directly. This is my lady. My lords and my lady, um, we are thankful for your ruling today and the lengthy explanations and court case that has gone into it. Unfortunately, my lords and my lady, it seems that some people are being favored over us. And in this matter, it is the state or, or advocates. We are here acting in person and we are entitled to the same equal protection of the law. We are here trying to defend the constitution and our constitutional rights. I am being discriminated against as a woman, as a person with disabilities, and as a youth, my lords and my lady. We filed our application on the 8th of October 2024, and we thought that we would be enjoined as interested parties to, to participate in, the, in Tuesday's proceedings, but we were not. So we did not have the time to ventilate our issues properly. My lords and my lady, we are asking you to stay your orders for seven days as you have told us to come back on the 7th of November so at least we get a fair chance, a fair fighting chance as a sovereign to also ventilate our issues properly. The state cannot override us and advocates cannot override us, my lords and my lady. This is a court for equality and we are asking for equality. My lords and my lady, we also... I appreciate that um, the, uh, the regarded side has asked for seven days to appeal. Kindly consider us in because there is no point in justice. It will be granted to some petitioners and others will just be thrown under the bus and into the darkness. Thank you. Uh, my Lord, if I may respond, my Lord. Sorry, just a minute. What, um, can you just clarify your application? You say is dated the 8th of October? 8th of October, 2024. It's petition E 5 541 of 2024. We were seeking stay orders to stay the proceedings in the National Assembly based on Article 32 1, freedom of conscience, and Article 33, freedom of expression. Let me clarify. Uh, is that uh, the matter in which you are bearing with Dr. Ebosso? Yes, my lord. Yes. Now, if you have been following the directions of this court keenly. We have been issuing various orders on consolidation. And I can assure you, I did that. And you and Dr. Bosso are petitioners in one of the cohorts. I think it's cohort number one. Yes, it's cohort number one. You are yes. petitioners in cohort number one. And we directed everybody to get into the CTS system and whoever has a problem to get in touch with the deputy registrar. So it is not right, Ms. Wanjir, to claim that you have not been, uh, 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 been, 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 uh, been enjoined in these proceedings. You have been enjoined, you are a party, and that is why we allow Dr. Boso to address the court, even yourself to address. So you are a party. You are my, part of that my, one, I can assure you. My Lord, we were not entitled to the right of enjoinder. And we had points that we wanted to defend against the, uh, the respondent side. So we're just finding it very difficult that due process is not being followed in our instance as we applied even before both parties on the 8th of October 2024. They came to court on the 18th, 10 days after us. And they have still been granted they have still been granted audience before us and we were told we're going to be in cohort one and then cohort one this application has already overtaken cohort one we are now being told to come next week after the swearing in would have been gone through and after numerous rights would have been violated that we have raised i think i, I think Ms. Wanjiro, what you just need to do is just get into the cts get all the directions there's every direction there's a reason why we came up with cohort one application petitions and cohort two applications. Yes, so, my lord. So, so I, I think uh, we may not uh, wish to respond on uh, whether you are discriminated it's, or not, but we are so sure you are not, not discriminated not, because lord, there are proper directions respect in respect of every every cohort and every matter before us. My lord, Kindly take time to go through the CTS. My lord, I hope I assist. Yes. Uh, my lord, thank, you. thank you. This court had made directions on this issue. Yeah. We said we, there are only two applications before this court right now. And those are two applications which will be responded to. We, we have applications. We are finished with this side. But you have not uh, spoken on behalf of the second uh, petitioner. My Lord, we would like an opportunity to respond to both applications that are being brought today. Maybe I can 
say one, one thing, just on behalf of the second petitioner. My name is Kimoto Teresia Wanju, my Yes, there's Kimoto in company. I put this We welcome the ruling. However, there are some bits that we feel aggrieved and we wish to appeal. And therefore, as we uh, do the notice of appeal, we are praying that uh, we are in support of the issue for injunction, no the issue for stay which the court may say it's a negative order, but we are saying pending the time we do the appeal, at least the status quo be maintained. And also we wish to say that there was an issue that the court of appeal today application for stay, that is not true. We were told to serve, parties were not all served and that's the reason why we were given another date. So therefore we are in support of these two applications that have been made today. Thank, Thank you. Let's Manjil also. Mr. Dr. Iboso, please sit down. Please, please sit down. My Lord, this Pl court. Please sit down. Please sit down. Will I be given a chance to speak? Please sit down. Ms. Wanjiru, proceed. Yes, my Lord. As a young woman, I'm under 35, my Lord. I'm actually 35. I'm a, I'm a youth and I have a disability. And we're the only ones, I think, on the platform that check that we have a disability, my Lord and my Lady. Our constitution, Article 1 1, has to count for something. Because it was intended for us to come to court directly. Please respond to the application. Uh, support, make the application. Yes, my Lord, I'm in support yes. of the application. Most obliged. My Lord, finally. My Lord, in response.